Ready, Freddy? Here we're live again. We're not live, but I mean we're we're gonna do a podcast. Stay in your lane. Hashtag. Hashtag. So some interesting developments have happened between last night and today. Yeah, I've I've been on Karma's Twitter and I've watched a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Karma's the real MVP. He Karma. likes to post clips so we don't have to actually go to Tuna's channel and watch the shit and give her the view. Hashtag so, not all heroes wear capes, Karma. <laughs> right? So, okay, so last night, let's start with Marky Mark's failed attempt at trolling. Oh, yeah, that was... Oh, my God, the stupidity. There are numerous screenshots from numerous people proving that this is Marky Mark. Including myself and Queenie and several others. Are you going to Karma's Twitter or Bliss's Twitter? You will see all these or screenshots my from different people. Yeah, from your Twitter. But I, they're all congregating on these other Twitters like Karma's. They'll all right. send the evidence to that yeah. one spot. Well, let me, um, because he tried to, he tried to DM me. He, because he's boss up rejects too. But, you know, it's so funny how he'll go and like, or he'll go and like follow his troll accounts. It's like, let me, let's, let's try to explain how Twitter works here, okay? Supposing there's a troll account made. Well, how are people going to find this troll account if it's not commenting on anything? Yeah. But yet, Marky Mark knows to find this troll account and follow it. Within like two seconds Within of it Within like being... two seconds of it being created. Yeah, so that's, I mean, it doesn't work it, like that. It's you know, just... Mark, I get that you're new and... I honestly, I think it's funny because even Tuna's too stupid to realize that you're trolling because she doesn't know shit about Twitter and technology and things. And, you know, she doesn't realize that she's the joke. Like, we're not laughing with you guys. We're laughing at you guys. For one, you failed so miserably at trying to troll that it's hysterical. And number two, I find it hilarious that Tuna's too stupid to figure it out and you make her look stupid. Yeah, like last night, I before Marky Mark changed his Twitter, and it got taken down, I went to his Twitter, and it's, because he started liking stuff on my page for some strange... Like, accidentally? <laughs> yeah, because he was going around blocking multiple accounts. But anyways, he, this one, Boss Up Rejects, they all say it's fake and not real. Qu air quotation marks, fake, not real. It was following Marky Mark, and Marky Mark was following it. <laughs> and you know what else I find... Wait, what was I going to say? Okay, so so three days ago, Tuna's live and, and claims responsibility for Boss Up Rejects and says that's her people, that she owns that account. <laughs> and, and then the next day, she doesn't want anything to do with that account. And, like, I know that not all of you guys over there are dumb. If we can clearly see the wishy-washiness and hear her say one thing one day and something else two seconds later... How are y'all not hearing that? Are y'all just not calling her out because you're scared? Or what's the tea? Because it makes no sense to me that they do that. Yeah. I mean, it's just like, to me, it would annoy the hell out of me. Maybe that's why I don't <laughs> join groups. Because I would have to be like, wow, does she really think we're that stupid? Like, to beg for a ramp from you guys. You guys are her little community. She wants you guys to pay for her ramp, but... She just bought a two hundred dollar airbrush makeup machine, um, a, a basketball air, goal, basketball goal, and I think air an air fryer. fryer I think because I've never heard the air fryer brought up before for till yesterday. So, so, do you guys like how many of you guys probably donate to her when you have not much food in your house, or you would like to have a makeup machine, and you might like to have an air fryer, but you donate to her because you think she needs this ramp. Yeah, and um, the ramp is the ramp, and the, the whole ramp thing it has changed in prices. The prices went from free to, to 100 to 200 to 500. Now it's like 900, 1200. It's gonna be 12 million dollars tomorrow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but here's here's another thing I want to give Tuna some advice. Listen, stop trying to count other people's money, and maybe people will stop giving a shit who donates to you. You got all pissed off when. Uh, guest mob decided to do Amazon wish lists. 
You got so mad the other day that I offered to pay Queenie 20 bucks for her stream yards. Yeah, they don't understand that stream yards, too. They don't understand that part. Oh, yeah, I've seen them trying <laughs> to debate that. Okay, so, like, stream yards, you have, I guess, so many hours. Or you can upgrade packages to get better features or whatever. Yeah. And, you know, Queenie, she likes to go live. She likes to do her video games. She likes to do you things. You can't stream unlimitedly for free. Right, and so she's a so friend of mine. So if I want to give her 20 bucks so she can go be on YouTube, YouTube, that's my business and Queenie's business. Yeah. So we know for what you we're to doing. get your feelings hurt over it, and and I offered you a challenge that you did not accept. Mm -hmm. I told you I will donate fifty dollars towards your ramp, or I'll give you fifty dollars towards your crack. I don't give a shit. <laughs> if you can go one week of streaming without talking about any of us, I will donate fifty dollars to your PayPal. Yeah, I remember the time she got mad because other people were getting super chats. <laughs> That's when she started the whole thing with Papa Grizz and the snake in the box was because he got super chat before her. Yeah. <laughs> She's always counting other people's money. She's so worried about everybody else on this tier getting a dollar and it not going to her. I mean, it's, it's honestly, it's ridiculous. <clears throat> What's really sad is, aren't you guys tired? I want I want boss up people to comment on this. Are you guys not tired of hearing about the same five people on loop? Aren't you guys tired of hearing the same shit over and over? Hey. Jamie this, <laughs> Bliss that, Queenie this, Isaac this. I'm sick of hearing the shit, and I don't even listen to her every day. And and honestly, it shows in her chat because. Most of the people that are over there, I see Victoria Cotton over in MFW stream. I see her in Savage's streams and Abe streams. I hardly ever see her in Tuna stream. Yeah. Just and saying. Talking about chatters, I mean, today she had 300 viewers and the chat was moving really slow. Like nobody was saying crap. Right. You don't have no interactivity in your thing. I mean, well, that's Melissa's the most... chat was just like fast. Today, she, and, and you could tell her head started getting big when she started peaking at 300, which means she'll continue because she's gotten that 300 off the backs of me and Queenie and Bliss. She won't keep 300. You know why? Every time somebody says something, they get blocked. Right. No matter, I've seen people trying to support her get blocked, you know, that that her mod just block whoever so they can stay in her, under, under the good graces of the cult leader. I'm just disappointed in some of those people over there. <laughs> you know, when Queenie and me made up, like, I didn't want her to um, feel like she had to choose sides. And you guys forced her to choose sides and made her be the enemy. You know, Victoria Cotton, you're sitting there talking shit on Queenie and you're going in little comment sections talking shit on her. But you know what? When she decided to leave from Boss Up and make up with me, you came into her chat. We were very polite to you. We were very civil to you. We didn't say anything negative to you. And for you to go and just turn on her like that just shows the kind of character that you have. And none of y'all are blocked in none of our, in Queenie's chats, our chats, nobody's, I don't block them. I let them, but we're all blocked over there. You know, she wanted to stay friends with some of you guys. And, you know, she's, she's just on YouTube trying to have fun and be friends with people. And she doesn't want to get in trouble anymore. She don't want to go talking shit on people. She don't want to get the her she's panel used. Of is not getting done. Okay. Queenie's not messing Let's with Let's clear her. this up with the email situation. Okay. You guys heard Tuna say, Queenie, stop emailing me. But did you guys happen to go check Queenie's live stream and hear that she's live at the exact same time? playing video games you hear her little hands click click clicking on the controller but yet she's being blamed for emailing tuna yeah not to mention some other stuff in the other day but then she said she blocked queenie from emailing her and then told her kept telling her to stop well if you blocked her there's no reason to tell her to stop because she can't email you no more it's just so funny that half of those people over there have left boss up and came back and i know victoria cotton has i know a few other people have and you'll go and you'll say Tuna's all these things. She lies. She rips people off. She manipulates people. She has no content. And then when you make up, it's like y'all forget all the stuff that y'all called her out for. You know, all y'all are doing is just stirring the hate and stirring the shit up. You know, why don't y'all encourage her to move on from other to, to different content so y'all don't get stuck in that hole just sitting there talking shit on people all day? Yeah. 
I mean, it's it's the same shit on loop. Jamie this, Bliss this, Boss 510 that. And lately, Queenie's been thrown in Queenie. there. Queenie's been blamed for doing this and that. Well, that's because she left the cult. And you know what happens when you leave the cult? They drag yeah. you for six months. Yeah, they do. They did to Bree Bunny. <coughs> they've done it to YT. They've done it to anybody else who's and ever left Boss And they're still doing up. it. Yeah. They're still doing it. And then you have people like Marky Mark, who this is the only bit of attention he gets. He's probably the biggest loser in real life. So he goes on to Twitter. You know what, Mark? And that was the stupidest shit I ever seen today. You honestly sat there and said that you're banned from Twitter. You don't know what's going on in Twitter. Homie, check your very next comment under that comment. Yeah, what you said about oh, Bliss. Bliss. Bliss has tweeted 15 things about you, Tuna. Like, pick a lane, bro. Like, this is why you guys look so dumb. Okay, you look stupid saying shit like that. Think before you speak. That should be what our title should be. Think before you yes, speak. Yes, <laughs> think, think before you troll. I mean, come on, Mark. You know, you're going to make a fucking troll account of Bliss's kid? Really? I mean, god damn. And, and like, okay, since Mark's Twitter disappeared, and it, it first it was trying to convert to the Mason account of Bl Bliss's son... Did the Boss Up Rejects account disappear today, too? I'm not sure, but I want to say that Boss Up Rejects Twitter is following an Albert Dandridge account. But oh, nobody yeah, I remember else the one follows they, that, they but blame Marky YT Mark for that. does. Yeah, I mean, it's like you guys... That's the one Twitter that they knew exactly uh, when it came up, and it yes. was there. And we know we, there's this Twitter, and, and like, it was just got created. And you can't... I could create a Twitter tomorrow, and, and unless I go tell somebody it's there, nobody's going to know it's there. Or unless I go, like, comment under people's stuff, which we checked the comments and it didn't. You know, it's like, so how how are how are you figuring out where these Twitter accounts are, Mark, before that Twitter these account even comments on anything? Accounts. These sock puppet accounts. How do you know when they're at before anybody else does? <laughs> it's just sad, really. I, I think that you guys should really encourage Tina to move on to different content. I mean, this is the same content that she's had for the past four years. Boo-hoo, I'm the victim. But yet she has started all these fires with everybody. She starts fires all over the drama community, then sits back, cries that she's the victim, and then you dumbasses over there go attack all of us, and it never ends. She doesn't start the fire. She sends her mods to her do Her little it. minions to start the fires. Her cult members to go start the fires. And we know that for a fact that she sends people yes, out to start Yes, because we've fires. seen the... We've heard it. We've seen the proof of it. If these people... It doesn't matter, though. We could prove shit within a shadow of a doubt. Black and white proof. And these people still aren't going to believe it. Because at the end of the day, people will only believe what they want to believe. Yeah. And if they want to believe that Tuna is some kind of, like, um, person that has clout and is a good person in her community, they're going to keep falling for it. Yeah. You know? And, and the truth is that she's a scumbag. She's a hustler. She's a drug addict. She's been doing the same shit for so many years. She ain't a boss because she want accountability on no boss. She ain't... She don't pay the boss price. She don't want to pay the boss. Yeah, the boss price of. Okay, when something happens in guest mob and some something goes hinky, you see Isaac pop up, handle it right there immediately and effectively, and get it done, take care of it, bye. You know, and if it, you know, so his 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 community doesn't look bad. You well, know? here's what happened with the whole Mason account. Cause here's what Tuna will say. Well, they make troll accounts on my kid. No, the fuck we don't. No, no. It's been proven several times that she's had her own mods go make accounts for Albert to stir the drama up. We're not making accounts of her child. I'm not making accounts of her daddy. I'm not making accounts of none of those people. Yeah. But I'll get accused of it all day long. Yeah. Well, that's, that's what we were saying a few minutes ago is uh, <clears throat> she sends her little mods to start the fires to do the work. They wants to blame everybody else so she can have something to talk about and go live with. You and know? I want to say this for, for Queenie. You know, Big Ange, if you're listening to this, you know, Queenie really does appreciate your friendship. And I don't know who told Tuna that Queenie is crying to you. Maybe you told Tuna that or whatever. But, you know, as far as I'm concerned, like... Queenie doesn't want to bash you. We don't want to bash you. We don't really want to bash any of you guys. We want the bullshit to stop. But, like, don't not be her friend because she's friends with us. Because we're adult enough that we don't have to make her choose. 
and I think right now she's feeling like she has to choose. And honestly, we're just trying to keep Queenie out of trouble, you know, and that's what we've done for years. And nobody's it's micromanaging just, to Queenie, Queenie or anybody else. You know, we you don't know. want her to be going back on her truces. We don't want her to start a bunch of shit with a bunch of people. We want her to be good. We want her to play her games and have fun and not get into any any types of trouble. And that's kind of what we've always tried what we to want do with for Queenie. All of us, just to go do our own little things, and you know, don't have to. Somebody doesn't have to go live every night, pointing fingers at ten different people. I know, making and, somebody's life and worse. And YouTube is so big. We're not all going to like each other. We're not all going to, um, you know, like our friends' friends. And that doesn't mean that we have to draw lines in the sand. But there's certain people that just think there should be lines drawn. Like Victoria Cotton. It's like, you know. But yet, you don't even follow that rule yourself, Victoria. Because you're all over the drama community too. So you can support Savage under your Trippy Socks account. And go support all these other people. But then you want to throw shade at other people for doing the same thing. Makes no sense whatsoever. You know, because Queenie, she appreciated your, your friendship too, Victoria. And she didn't say anything negative about you. And and then you had to go and um, talk shit on her in comments. Because you are not you don't have the balls to say the shit in chat. So you're doing it in comments. That people are seeing and sending screenshots of. You know, and it's just a shame that you guys can't be proud of Queenie for trying to be good. You know, the thing is, is Boss Up only used Queenie to get information on me. They never wanted her to be a part of Boss Up. Tina says that every day. You know, all you guys do is, is she likes to use people for their platforms. So when Queenie was given a platform to her to go talk shit all the time and dox people, yeah. you know, then Queenie could be a part of everything. But when Queenie stopped letting her platform be used to dox people and, and fuck with people... You know, I mean, it's just wrong. Yeah, you ever notice when Tuna's on someone else's platform, she's way more turned up. I mean, way more strikable. Well, I'm gonna start striking them people too. I str I try to try I I try to strike Tina like every day. Every time you say my name, lady, Jamie Hicks, Jamie Hicks's kids, I'm gonna be sitting back trying to strike you because I've had enough of it. Okay, I've seriously had enough of it. M.E.R., you try to bring your channel back, you better delete all them videos with my information in them. You're like, M.E.R.'s not even on YouTube. No, M.E.R.'s on Twitter talking smack. Yeah, okay? she's, she's on Periscope, Periscope talking shit, and she is on YouTube. She hit her channel, she's listening to everything, but she's too scared to poke her little head out because of the shit she has going on with Morticia. She shouldn't have fucked with Team Truth is what happened to yeah, her. Yeah, there's a little video she didn't want let out. Yeah, well, it got let out, you know, and... Let's see how that worked for her. Let's see how that worked out for her. Let's see. What else should we say? I can't think of much of anything else. Just Queenie ain't been doing nothing to nobody. I, just, I mean, every time I... Every past few days, I'm Queenie this, Queenie that. Queenie it's ain't messing with nobody. It's just sad that her content has gotten so down in the gutter that she's going to pick on a disabled person. And here's the thing. You guys don't know this or don't understand this. But when I first came to YouTube, the first few videos I ever seen of Tina Dandridge was her making fun of and picking on Queenie. And she had actually admitted that the other night. That's what she was doing. And she got a strike for it, too. That was one of her first strikes was her making fun of Queenie's teeth. And she had the fake teeth in her mouth. Mm -hmm. And then she threatened to call t Queenie's mama. And she kept fucking with Queenie. That's how Queenie got in our group to begin with was because of the amount of shit that Tuna was putting her through. Mm -hmm. Okay? So then she came to us, and she started being good for a while, and then went back over there to Boss Up, and now here we are. Yep. Tita likes to fuck with people, and say shit about people, and start shit with people, and then sit back and cry that she's the victim, and all this stuff was done to her. You know, you reap what you sow, but like, Come on, this content is so, like, half 2017. The stuff, half the stuff she's going live with isn't even happening. 
for a while they were saying you were attacking somebody on Twitter. Oh yeah, and that was like that was last week. I got like blamed for happening. saying that she didn't really lose her leg. I'm pretty sure at this point, everybody in the drama community knew she lo lost her leg. She went live showing people she lost her leg. I think everybody was in the same seat as Brandon until you heard from Tuna, Tuna herself. herself. Well, you weren't gonna believe it. I was the same way. He he he's so desperate to like have a life on YouTube and you know how to move up in the ranks over there. He sees that now some of the big dogs have left. You know, some of the big dogs that were in Boss Up are gone. They're off chilling. So now he's trying to move up in the ranks, but he's stupid and he's not very smart. Yeah, he's, he's making her look bad, really bad. On this, this whole he, Twitter thing from yesterday made her look really bad. Way to bad. go, Marky. You keep up the good work, buddy. <laughs> You're doing a great <laughs> You're job, You're doing Mark. a great job. You're doing a boss up kind of job. Boss up on it. I don't remember as much else. I mean, that's it, guys. Just like if you really cared about Tina and you guys are sick of hearing the same shit over and over, I don't think you guys give a shit about my life. I don't think you give a shit about Bliss's life. I don't think you give a shit about Kara's life or Queenie's life or any of our lives. Try to sit in that chat and encourage her to speak on other topics. I mean, there's so much going on in the world. Tina's a single mom raising a child with uh, a disability. She's an amputee. Get her talking about that, how challenging life is being an amputee. Get her talking about things that have happened in her life, AGP videos, anything. But to sit here no, and anybody just... Anybody brings up AGP gets blocked now. Okay, well, don't bring up AGP <laughs> then. But, like, to sit back and talk about the same five people on loop... Like it's over just over and over and over again. <laughs> over and just... over. She's gonna keep catching strikes. If y'all don't want Tina to leave, lose her channel, try to direct her in a different direction because YouTube ain't playing no more. You know, um, they're not playing with this bullying shit. It's targeted harassment. When you talk about the same person over and over and over, YouTube is going to put a stop to it. And yeah. she'll end up losing that main channel the, that she has. The problem right now is, it, is YouTube, it, it is most of their people working at home. You know, they're not, they don't, they don't have the capacity they should, you know, to be doing yeah. this kind of stuff. So it's easier yeah. to get strikes, but it's also harder. It's saying, like some of your, our shows, like The Walking Dead, I, the last episode of the season, nobody got to see because it's still in production. I know, isn't you know, that crazy? Yeah, there's a few other shows that are... Uh, the way they had it planned, they were going to have Walking Dead like 40 weeks out of the year. 40 or 50 weeks out of the year. You know, because all the shows they had. But they had to slow all their production down. YouTube's the same way. They're, all their people ain't in the shop. You know, they're not at the headquarters right now. So, that that's becoming an issue. Hopefully our next podcast won't have anything to do with Tina and this fuckery over here. McKamey Manor. It's about that time. Is it about the time? It's getting We're close. Here in, a few here in a few months. I still want us to get together and do the um, Roasted Studios podcast. Yeah? Yeah, I think that would be very important for us to put out there. Somebody go watch Tiger King so we can have something to talk about with everybody. Yeah, <laughs> let's let's see. Like, I And, you know, Isaac made a good point the other day. Like, tuna streams are fucking misery. They're miserable. Yeah. That it's like the most unhappiest place ever. Like, don't you guys want to, like... You know, when we go live, I mean, we might talk about tuna for a minute, but we also have fun and laugh, and not everything is about, you know, like, let's bash people. At yeah, the last live stream on your channel, there was a several different topics, and we had fun. And we had a good time. Yeah, and we, we touched on tuna for a minute, you know? Well, we and, always have to defend ourselves. Yeah, and uh, against the lies. And I'm tired of defending myself. I it's, really am. It's been it's for so years. Old. So many lies, you know? So many lies over and over again. YT's got the secret service coming her, coming for her. Remember, hey, back in the day, none of y'all know this, I had the federal police coming after me for hacking her bank account too, okay? so Yeah, he hacked her <laughs> bank account for these thousands of dollars that she's never yeah, so, ever so when y'all hear about YT and the secret service coming for her, remember that. You've been there, done that. We've heard it, some other things about people getting, and, and Isaac too, and a few other people getting arrested. We, we've heard it all. And let me touch mm -hmm. on the Ray Ray thing. Okay, Ray Ray is never going to go blow Tuna up. Okay, that is the dumbest shit. For y'all to even think that that's even, like, somewhat true. And we true, didn't even say it was a joke. We're not even saying it's a joke. It was a point. It was a point. Because here's the point. You know, Tina has threatened God and everybody else that they're all going down. She's done had GoFundMes for lawyers that she's never called. Uh, court cases that have never been 
in in production not production court cases have never manifested into anything she's always talking about bringing legal things against people and people were trying to tell her that she is part of the problem and people have told her the police aren't going to do shit for you lady and yeah. so Raquel made the point to like, okay, I'll go steal your bed with you in it. I'll and blow you up. Things and she, to, to say, listen, it wasn't that she's necessarily he, she threatening. She told her to call the cops. She told she her. She did. <laughs> and she's basically saying, like, it doesn't matter when you're sitting on here fighting with people all day and your hands are just as dirty and it's fair play. The cops aren't going to say, well, Ray Ray's more guilty than you are, Tina. They're going to say, Tina, get off the internet. Turn YouTube off. And your problem is solved. The only way they would do anything to, to, to Ray Ray is if they, they caught her on Bacon Ridge Road with uh, five Explosives. gallons of gas and, and, and some C4. Because then she was making an attempt to, to come through on right. that. You know, and you could say whatever you want because uh, Joe Exotic sure did. And I the mean... fact that you guys still argue that as if it was a credible threat just goes to the stupidity of it all. <laughs> I mean, it just, like, I, I can't even waste my breath on it anymore. It's so stupid. Yeah, it is. Um, that People just don't understand it at all, you know. But, uh, is it time to get out of here? It's time to go. Gotta go get some rest. All right. Y'all have a good one. We out.